Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You're watching Supernatural. This is season four, episode six, and this episode is called Yellow Fever. We're going to see what this one's all about, continuing this journey of season four. <laughs> what? Damn. It'll kill you! <laughs> what? <laughs> Does he just have a natural fear of dogs now? All heart attacks. You don't think that's strange? That well, sounds like Malmy's problem to me. Why does the FBI give a damn anyway? We just want to see the results of Frank's autopsy. Hand me those rib cutters, would you? <sighs> How we got these? You know what? When you drop dead, you actually tend to drop. Your body probably got scraped up when it hit the. Ooh. <clears throat> God. Heart looks pretty damn healthy. Hold it a second, would you? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh, sorry. God. Spleen juice. God, can you, you could get diseases if someone's got some sort of disease, right? Like... Shoes off. Shoes off. Hell, we were Gamecocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's our softball team's name. <laughs> Maybe scared of something? Oh, hell yeah. Real jumpy. You know what scared him? No. Wouldn't answer his phone. Finally, he sent some of my boys over to check. No way that was a heart attack. Definitely no way. Three victims, all with those same red scratches, all went from jittery to terrified to dead within 48 hours. So something scared him to death? I don't like the looks of those teenagers down there. <laughs> okay. Let's walk this way. <laughs> well, he doesn't want to walk past the teens. <laughs> oh, totally. He was freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what scared him? Well, yeah, witches. Witches. Like, well, Wizard of Oz was on TV the other night, right? And he said that green bitch was told everything else scared him. Al Qaeda, ferrets, artificial sweetener, uh -oh. those Pez dispensers with their dead little eyes. Lots of stuff. Is that so what's tell me. going on with Dean? Because he's like running away from that little puppy. School, he was he was a dick a dick like a bully i mean he probably taped half the town's butt cheeks together God. <laughs> mine included do people really let their snakes roam loose in the house i didn't realize i always thought if you do you always hold oh my god dude you're going 20 and that's the speed limit well, what safety's a crime now <laughs> oh yeah so it's, it's starting to like he's starting to get scared of things like you i'm not gonna make a left hand turn in oncoming traffic i'm not suicidal did i just say that that's kind of weird yeah that is totally opposite of his am i haunted am i haunted <laughs> yeah i was afraid of the teens which i don't blame him for that to be honest <laughs> I just talked to Bobby. And? Um, well, you're not gonna like it. Why me? Why not you? I mean, you got hit with the spleen juice. Yeah, um, see, Bobby and I have a theory about that, too. Turns out all three victims shared a certain, uh, personality type. Frank was a bully. The other two victims, one was a vice principal. Basically, they were all dicks. <laughs> it affects dicks. You saying I'm a dick? No, no, no. It's not just that. I, all three victims used fear as a weapon. And now this disease is just returning the favor. Our room's on the fourth floor. Hi. No. As funny as this is to see Dean like this, and the, the you know the comedy side of it all is, when anxiety starts to hit you like this, it's it's so real. Like you all of a sudden you're scared of things you weren't scared of before, and it's very real. You're dying again, loser! Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> Dean. <coughs> We've been completely ignoring the biggest clue we have. You. Oh, I'm not carrying that. Hmm. Go on. <laughs> this is so opposite. <laughs> oh, but you know what? This stuff happens. We don't really talk about it, but it really can happen to any one of us that you get, 
you're not yourself. You just get scared and you have to work yourself back up to coming out of that. I get it. Went through it myself, still recover. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> this is Frank's wife. Plot thickens. Yeah, but into Oh. That was so creepy. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's so funny because this is the reality of what it would be. Like, if you see a ghost standing in the corner, you're running out. Like, obviously, they they always go head in, you know, head on into the fight and the fire and all of that. But they know. They know what you did. Uh not the old lady <laughs> didn't matter you was the kindest man i ever knew Aww, didn't matter kid. you never hurt no one a lot of people fail loser i was one of them mm -hmm. do you recognize this woman it's jesse o'brien her man frank killed loser how do you know that? Everybody knew him. <laughs> she was always real nice to Lucer. And he had a crush on her. But Frank didn't like it. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would look suspicious. Whoa. That's crazy. I mean, I thought he was just, why not just shoot him if you're going to? Why do you have to go? They found Lucer. I mean, come on, we hunt monsters. I what like this though. This is so true. I mean, normal people, they see a monster and they run. <clears throat> not us. No, no, no. We, we search out things that want to. You know. Then there's the the, the bad diner food and and then the skeevy motel rooms and then the truck stop waitress with the bizarre rash. I mean, who wants this life, Sam? Huh? Who is seriously? <laughs> she means business. <laughs> It's about damn time, it's too. Hallucination. Truth is, you've been a real pain in my ass. Hey, Dean. Hey, <gasps> Dean. 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 Yeah, that's so unfair. This uh, encyclopedia of spirits dates to the Edo period. Cool. Benise? Kimi no ku mareru mai karazuto daio. What? So, show off. Anyway, this book lists the kind of ghosts it could be. Why are you looking into Luther Garland's death? Hey, hey you're, you're sick. So he made a mistake. So I didn't bust him. A so mistake? What? I mean, maybe if he, like, just shot him and it was different than what he did. That doesn't seem like a mistake. Oh. <sighs> He's going to die there. Oh, d no. <gasps> no. 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 Yes. Scary. This it's is me, so Lewis. scary. Be oh, I was just. <clears throat> hey. Okay, but even shooting him doesn't stop. No. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, they have to do the the same thing to him. <laughs> That's messed up. God, I wish it was just give the man a hug and then everything, the curse is done. No one else sees this as messed up. I mean, what the hell? There, there was no other, can't the writers just for once just be like, yeah, it's just a hug. Not this, not, not. Not put re traumatize a ghost who was innocent. How you feeling, by the way? Fine. You sure, Dean? Because this line of work can get awful. Oh, you want to go hunt? <laughs> I'll hunt. I'll kill anything. Oh. 
He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, so what did you see near the end of me? Well, besides a cop beating my ass? Seriously. Howler monkeys. The whole room full of them. These things creep the hell out of me. Right. I don't know. I feel like you could have told him what he saw. <laughs> So I'm glad they included that. <laughs> That's so funny. God. Well, that was nice. It was cool to see that. This does make me want to go and watch the bloopers. I will do that because I, it's just sometimes this the show's just too mean. Like, that was mean to do to the ghost. There could have been, a, like, put on an iron jacket and give the ghost a hug. And just then he goes away. You know? Like, I, I don't get it. But to make this short, which I wish I didn't do, but I have to for today, going through fear after you go through something really traumatic or maybe you went through trauma a long time ago and it pops up out of nowhere. I mean, I'm talking about this because I went through this. You ask the question, why did it take me so long to get back to watching the show? Really was going through something so similar where I – for some reason, I would get behind the, the computer, start watching something, and I'd get a panic attack. And I'm like, that is weird. I've never gone through this before. I don't under I don't get it. So, you know, <clears throat> I it it went for as long as it went for, and I'm in a much better place. But I had to go through my own, like, okay, this is what it is. I'm okay. I'm going to get through it. And, and little by little, slow, slowly got through it. But God, so if anyone goes through panic attacks, we know this is really what it is. And it doesn't matter. You could be a cop, a firefighter, Navy SEAL. You could be whatever you are, like badass. But if something happens to you, some super traumatic situation or whatever it is, we don't know why we go through this, but it happens. So I think it's cool for that to be shown in this way, this fear-based ghost sickness, because Dean is the most bravest, badass character, and you, you know, he runs towards the fear. He never runs away from it. So to see him kind of go through this kind of more realistic thing that we would all go through, yeah, like we would run away from the monster, not towards the monster – it is kind of cool to see someone as strong as him struggle. And it was funny, and I think that's good. That's digestible. Uh, but this happens. This happens. So, um, But I really – actually, this was, like, one of my favorite episodes. So <laughs> I loved it a lot, actually. Um, and, yeah, that last little dance number with Jensen doing that – Eye of the Tiger dance and song, lip singing. That was awesome. Uh, but great episode if you suffer with an anxiety or panic attacks. I understand it's tough and you just kind of, you'll get better. It always gets better. It takes time, but it gets better. But yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.